What's up everybody? I hope you're all taking care of yourselves and staying healthy during this time. I want to share a panel today about marriage, so let's dive right into it. The panel for today is Chu Donang Jang Alright, once more. Chu Donang Jang In English, Chu Donang Do not open the roof for the rain. Jang Panjang the wall for wind. Do not open the roof for rain and do not open the walls for the wind. Before I talk about the meaning of this Banlu, I do just want to say happy anniversary to my wife and I. We just marked 13 years of marriage. And even after 13 years of marriage, you would expect all cupcakes and rainbows and butterflies. But no, that's not the case. We still have moments where we continue to learn from one another. We learn how to love each other. And what does that even mean when we say love each other in this marriage? Ironically, two weeks ago, my wife and I were upset at each other and we were not talking to one another. So during this time that we were not talking to each other, I started coming up with a whole laundry list of things that she did that I didn't like, that I can rebuttal if she were to say anything. So essentially, I prepared myself for this fight. So that when she came back to talk to me, whatever she had to say, I was ready. I was ready to rebuttal. I was ready to belittle her. I was ready to win this fight, essentially. So my wife texts me a few days later and says, I'm ready to talk. And she says, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I didn't support you. And I'm sorry that we're fighting. And I just, I was confused. I was confused. I didn't know how to even process that. That really took me by surprise. It took me by surprise because as I was getting ready to fight with her, to rebuttal whatever she had to say, she was getting ready to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry because I also play a role in this fight that we had. You know, marriage is always going to be complicated. Marriage will always have these ups and downs. Marriage literally is like a roller coaster ride. There's going to be moments when you and your spouse are going to be high up. Life's going to be fun, filled with love and laughter. And there will be moments when you hit a low point where the both of you are not going to talk to each other. You're going to have fights. And that is marriage. It's about growing together, learning from each other, supporting each other. Even after 13 years, we are still learning how to communicate with each other, how to talk with each other, how to love each other more, how to support each other more. So the panel for today, as I shared, Essentially, you will hear this when people say to another person, Essentially, what they're talking about here is, you've opened the door. You've opened your roof. You've opened uh, the pathway for your spouse to leave. Essentially, what it's talking about is when you get into these arguments and disagreements with each other, do not say, you don't like it, fine, hit the highway. It's my way or the highway. And when things don't work out the way that you anticipated and you regret saying that because a person now has left and you want that person back so badly, that's when someone will come to say to you, why did you open the door for that person to leave? Why? Why couldn't you just have worked things out? Why couldn't you be more patient? Why couldn't you be more understanding to see what was happening here, to talk about what was happening instead of opening the door and saying, my way or the highway, take it or leave it. Marriage doesn't work like that. Marriage is about communication. Marriage is about being humble, taking a stance of humility. And that's hard for a lot of us to do. You know, marriage is not for everyone. I have friends who are single and they're completely fine with that. They're happy with life. But marriage is a unification of two people. And I'm speaking broadly here because I know there's still arranged marriages happening. There's still forced marriages that we also hear about. But I'm talking in the context of people who decide to come together, to unify, to become one and to be married, to be wedded. After 13 years of marriage, I learned so much um, that I did not know. I wish I would have known these things before I got married, but these are things that you would never know unless you are in the midst of a marriage. These are things that you learn as you grow with each other during your marriage. And so I know this list is not comprehensive by any means, but I want to share three things with you all that I found to be helpful with my marriage. Number one is communication. You got to talk. You can't just separate and not talk to each other. Everything begins with communication. 
But before you even communicate, you have to be able to cultivate a safe space for both of you to be vulnerable with each other. What's the point of being married if you can't be vulnerable with each other? You can't even share and express your deepest feelings with each other. This is important because imagine if your spouse comes and shares what they're feeling and you make fun of them, you poke at them, you pick at their wounds. Are they going to share that with you again? No, the place is not safe. They can't do that. What's going to happen? You're going to distant. You're not going to talk anymore. Or if you do, it's going to be very superficial. You cannot connect on a much deeper level anymore. So it's important that you provide that safe space for communication, that you listen to your partner, that your, person, your partner listens to you. You're listening to understand, not to rebuttal, to understand how each other's feeling and how can you support each other. Number two is never stop courting each other. Courtship is what brought you both together in the first place. Yes, it's true. After a while, marriage does get a little bit dull. But that doesn't mean you stop courting each other. That doesn't mean you go and do something outside of your marriage. You came together for a reason. You should not be focusing your time trying to please somebody outside of your marriage, trying to woo somebody. That effort should be done with your spouse. You should continue to court each other, to grow and to draw near, to uh, tighten up those gaps that distant you. Continue to court each other. Never stop courting. And number three is support each other. Sometimes we fight with each other, we compete with each other, and we forget to support one another. We came into this marriage because we want to grow together as one. You cannot grow if you're always fighting with each other and competing with each other. You should be supporting and respecting your spouse. Whatever they do, support them. Because whatever they've gained, a title, a bonus, a raise, you've also gained that. You've also benefited from that. And that happens and vice versa. You did not come into this relationship to compete with each other. You came into this relationship to grow with each other, to grow old and gray with each other. You cannot get to that point if all you're doing is trying to kill each other. So after 13 years of marriage, that's my two cents. Again, it's not comprehensive by any means, and I continue to grow as a husband for my wife. My wife continues to grow as my partner as well. Even after 13 years of marriage, like I said, my wife and I, we still fight. We still argue, we still have disagreements, but that doesn't mean that's the end of our relationship. That doesn't mean and say, you don't like it, there's the door. No, that's not the point of marriage. The point of marriage is not one-sided. It should be both of you coming together, trying to uplift one another so that you can grow old and reach that point of gray. I hope you're all staying healthy. As always, take care, be well. Peace out.